Merci à tous d'être ici pour cette annonce qui va aider à créer plus de logements plus rapidement ici à Brampton. People across the country are struggling with the rising costs of housing. And in Brampton, you're feeling it acutely. This is a community that is only getting bigger. In fact, Brampton is one of the fastest growing municipalities in Canada. Well, you need more housing to keep up with the demand, and you need it to be built faster and built in convenient, connected places. Well, that's what our housing accelerator is all about, and why I'm so excited to be announcing that we have reached an agreement with the city of Brampton. Today, we're announcing that Brampton is the next city to receive significant funding from our housing accelerator, and we estimate that this will mean more than 24,000 new homes over the next decade, with 3,100 fast-track to be built in the next three years alone. As part of this plan, we'll see houses built near transit stations, like the nearby GO station, near main streets and downtown, places that are convenient, places where people want to live, places where people can have the very best quality of life. Sean va pouvoir nous partager plus de détails dans un instant, mais je sais qu'il travaille fort pour conclure d'autres ententes comme celle-là. C'est la cinquième entente qu'on a avec une grande ville depuis qu'on a lancé le fonds pour accélérer la construction de logements, et je sais qu'il va en avoir d'autres un peu partout à travers le pays. So the cost of living is putting a lot of pressure on the middle class and people working hard to join it, which is why we've been making sure to deliver real relief. We're delivering support for families by bringing the cost of daycare down, with it on track to reach $10 a day. And today, eligible, fa eligible families will receive their monthly Canada Child Benefit payments. This is hundreds of dollars tax month that makes a huge difference in the lives of millions of Canadians. This important support increased just in July to keep up with inflation, which means this year the family, a family could receive almost up to almost $7,500 a year tax-free. We delivered the grocery rebate and we're working to bring relief at the checkout counter through both legislation and our conversations that are holding big grocers to account. We're tackling junk fees and taking action to reduce banking fees. On a éliminé les intérêts sur les prêts canadiens aux étudiants et aux apprentis et les prestations que les aînés reçoivent chaque mois augmentent pour suivre l'inflation. We know that the cost of housing is one of the biggest stresses each month. And after decades of inaction by previous governments, our government has been getting to work, investing in affordable housing and programs to help people through the National Housing Strategy, which helped build uh, that project two years ago, the tax-free First Homes Savings Account, and more. We need more housing, more collaboration with great partners across orders of government, more investment from private and non-profit partners, and of course, more shovels in the ground. We need to work together to build homes so people can build their lives, families, and futures they want. We've faced big challenges as a country before, and we're ready to tackle them now. That's exactly what today is all about. On travaille avec des partenaires de partout au pays pour s'assurer que la promesse du Canada tienne. Cette promesse d'améliorer la qualité de vie à chaque génération. Canada is the best country in the world. Let's keep working to make it even better. Merci beaucoup, mes amis.